Okay, this one is on rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. Okay, so up to this point, y'all have learned how to do fractions. Okay, just like a while ago when you're working with 7 and 1 8 we learned how to make this 7, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're going to work with um, decimal numbers. So I think it's good to think of decimal numbers as money in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to give you an, a money kind of problem. Okay, so if I said something was seven dollars and fifty six cents, would you tell me that it's closer to seven or closer to eight dollars? Eight. Yeah, eight. Eight. You say eight. 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 If it's fifty. Eight. eight. If it's like forty nine or under, then it's going to be seven. If it's fifty or up, it's very gonna be good. Eight. So we would make we would say we're going to round this decimal number to eight, right? So the answer for $7.56, if we rounded it to a whole number, we would say 8, right? Okay, now try this one. Without a money symbol, would it? what two whole numbers is this in between? I know what it is. <gasps> okay. First of all, tell me which two whole numbers it's in between. 7 seven. It's How in between 7. That? And eight, somewhere in between here. How many is it out of? Like ten? Is that? It will always be out of ten. Mm -hmm. So, so it would be eight. So it would be closer to eight. So you can kind of see this is eighty cents. Okay. Remember, you can add zeros as much as you want. Remember that. So if we added one zero to help us out, then you can easily tell that you're going to say eight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try this one. Here's what it says. Estimate, and what does estimate mean? To round. Round first before you work the problem. Yeah. Okay, so here's what it tells me. R estimate the product. Who knows what products means? <gasps> mm, 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 mm. What does it mean? The, um, what it equals? Close. Um, Keep going. No. Um, and the answer to a multiplication problem. Very good. Product means answer to a multiplication problem. So, here's what it says. Estimate the answer of a multiplication problem of 8.78 and 6.12. Okay. They're asking you to estimate, which means round the numbers before you work it. But when we work it, what are we trying to find? The uh, multiplication answer. The multiplication answer because it totals product. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so estimate, let's go on and do that first. What would 878 change to? Um, we know the answer. Eight, seven. Well, in between which two numbers is 8.78? 8 and 7. No. 8 and 9. It is in between 8 and 9. It'd be because nine. it's past 8, it's 8 and something. So it's in between 8 and nine. 9. Okay, and 0 .50, 8.50 would be in the middle, right? Nine. So it'd be closer to nine. So we're going to change this to nine. Now is the um, if you have two numbers like after the decimal, is it going to be out of a hundred? What did you mean? Like um, there's seventy eight, but if it was just seven, it'd be out of ten. And now it, since it's yes, if it's just a seven, you could add a zero to help you if you needed to. Okay, or you can just go eight point seven and know that it's greater than five. Yeah. Say okay. Now let's do six point twelve. What two numbers is it in between? Uh, um, six and seven. Okay, so which one's it closer to? Six. Six. So we're going to change this too. So now it says, estimate, which we already did, find the product of nine and six. I didn't know it. What 15. is the product of nine and six? 15. No, 54. 54. Product. 54. 54. Product oh. means the answer to a multiplication problem. Oh. So that means you're going to multiply this. Okay? Four. And so the answer would be 54. What if it said sum? <laughs> then what would it be? Huh? If it said estimate the sum. It would be 15. It would be 15. Okay? Because we would do 9 plus Yeah, six. one time on the test, like okay. I, I what know What if it product. said difference? Mm, subtraction. It would want us to subtract. 9 minus 6. What about quotients? We really can't do 9 divided by 6. It won't come out with anything, okay? I mean, I guess you could. But if you heard quotient, that means you would divide. Okay? Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
One time I made a mistake on a test, but I know those because I learned those in like. That might be the end of this lesson. Last one. Oh, here's what it says: twelve point two centimeters and seven point eight centimeters. And here's what they want you to do: estimate the area of this triangle of this rectangle. <gasps> so what do they want me to do first? Oh, they want you to round them. Because that's what estimate means, to round before you answer the problem. Okay, so what would 12.2 turn into? 12. 12, good job. <clears throat> and what would 7.8 turn into? It'd be... Stop it. 9. Close. No, 7. No? I don't know what 12 times 8 is. 8. Okay. Oh, seven. it would be 8. It'd, be, it'd come in between 7 and 8. And so 7.5 would be the middle, so we know that it's closer to 8. Okay? So, to find the area, area means length middle. times width. So, 12 times 8, right? I don't know the answer to that. Length times width. 12 times 8. And the answer is 96. Oh. And because we're working with centimeters, and there's two of them, you put a two. Okay? Well, that's cool. Yep. Everybody feel like they understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we or you can say 96, here's another way to write it, square centimeters. My mom always makes me do that for some reason. Then that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, I just put centimeters. Yeah, well, you have to have this because it's not just 96 um, centimeters. The okay? bottom, you forgot it. What do you mean? On the square centimeters, you forgot No, I got square centimeters. I just wrote it out. Oh. Instead of writing it this way, I wrote it this way. Oh. Okay, but here, I want y'all to understand what square centimeters means. No, if I just said something was 96 centimeters, it would mean if I had a ruler and I had 96 centimeters, it would go from here all the way to 96. That would be oh. just 96 centimeters. But since it's 96, 96 centimeters squares, that means that it's a length this way and a length this way that multiplies to have 96 all together. So it's a total different thinking, okay? You'll learn a little bit more of it next year, okay? Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. Alrighty.